Bug. Slug the bug. Like a bug in a rug. That is... You know. <laughs> nice! I said to heck with it. Just fog it! Fog it on there! Hey, you two mates! Slug the bug. It's got a small little issue. Well, the speaker is coming apart. Something, you know, I really never noticed, but I was cruising the other day. I turned the tunes up just a little bit and I was like, what is that flapping noise? Oh, it's freaking electrical tape together. W. Well, that's not going to work very well now, is it? So, we're going to take these ones out. Deletion. We're not exactly going to do it the same way that they had it set up. Because first of all, they've only got two speakers. And you kind of need the four to get a better surround. And, well, I'm not putting them any in the back because I don't want to trace any wires through the carpet and put them in the back and figure out how to mount them so they don't become problems. So, plan is to make a whole new box that dangles kind of from that dash where those other speakers are. <clears throat> and we're going to put four of them. One, two, three, four. You know, kind of diagonally to keep them as close together as possible. And so I don't have to cut the holes bigger in the dashboard because I really don't want to do that. So in this case, all I have to do is either drill a couple holes to hold it up in there or I can drill a hole through this and then put something to cover that hole and drill it together and pinch it. Somehow we could get it to mount. Spray paint it red, maybe black, hide it and stuff. I don't know. We'll figure that out as we go. Whatever looked better. Kind of thinking red. You know, maybe I'll just do black to make it simple. These are the speakers I'm using. Well, because I have them. And that's why we're going with bigger speakers is because I have them already. These were actually bought for a different project and I decided not to use them for that project and I was gonna return them and then I was like, you know what, screw it, I'll keep them. Because they're good sounding speakers. So here they are, they're gonna go in the bug. Slug the bug. All right, so we got our holes marked out. We kind of took the size of, you know, the ring where it sits and we measured it. And we got this cool fancy dancy. It's actually for drywall. And I just made a mark when I did this because it just barely put a mark in there. And then I traced it with a pencil. Pretty simple. Now we got to cut it up. Put a couple pieces together. Here's a template I made for the front wall. Put it right there. So we got to jigsaw that together. I mean, apart. I don't know why I said together. Drilled some holes where our speaker's going to go for our jigger saw. So we can jigger the holes out and I figured it'd be easier to do before we cut the rest out. You know, because then we got a big piece we can hang on to. Rather than having this little piece and probably cutting our fingers off. What's, you know. This blade, sure. It's old, but it looks sharp. Kind of like me. <laughs> One hole down. Let's test fit it. Oh, man. Look at that. It's like a lug. Like a bug in a rug. That is... You know, <laughs> a bug in a rug. We're putting these in a bug. They're all out of Just in case. <laughs> nice. That is one heavy saw, brother.
I got some pieces cut out, our holes in that chunk, and then our front piece here. Here, somewhat, it is darn close to where we need it. Here's where it's at. It's darn close. So I'm gonna run a little pencil line and uh, just whittle away at the parts that are all touching slowly to get it all snug up against it. And it should be good. After a couple of times of coming back and forth and marking a crap ton, you know, the gap's looking all right. You know, it could be better, but it is pretty darn good. So I'm happy enough with this front piece. Let's run it. It's not got to be perfect. We're not making a show quality box here. I just want something for the sound to be held so I get good sound while I'm cruising, you know, because it's a nice cruiser. Be cruising through the mountains with some good tunes. Yep, so. Let's stick this right on here. Boom, just like that. And then we'll get some cardboard out, do the sides. And this should butt right up against the firewall. So, looking good, digging it. We're gonna use just a little nailer. You know, with some shorty nails in it. It's the 18 gauge style of nailer, if you're wondering. We're also going to run a bead of this in between the layers. And then we'll come back and get the back side. But this is just, it's sealant slash adhesive. You know, it's extra from work the boss gave me. I said, yeah, I could use that. You know, it's gonna get thrown away. I said, no, no, don't throw that away. So we'll glue it together. It is paintable. So don't forget that. Don't get no silicone that's not paintable if you're trying to paint your box here because then you'd be screwed. Got the smudge gun. Oh, she's some thick caulking. Whoa, I'm wandering. We'll run another one for our little piece of wood. We also put one on the back side because you know it's gonna stand up right here. And then that's gonna get nailed into that and stuff. So heck yeah. Look at just like this. Grandpa made a little mark because he put this over here. Because that's going to be pretty much where that little guy sits. I covered it up, didn't I? <laughs> well, there's that side. What about this side? That's You got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> so now we got to hold all this together and nail it together all at the same time. <laughs> Hot diggity dog, guys, check it out. It don't look too bad in there. We just built a little side here, a little side on the other side. Eh, Grandpa held it up with a little hanger, which is giving me a good way to figure out how I want to mount that sucker. Look at them gaps, though. That's actually pretty good. But this one's a little excessive, but put some foam in there. Ah, oh, yeah, looks pretty good, pretty easy clean sides to make a little test fit with me in it dang my foot's perfect you know I shouldn't kick the speaker at all I got plenty of room there should be plenty of room over there if I got plenty of room over here it's actually not too ugly especially if we painted it black make it disappear i'd really like to see that carpet put on here so we might just paint it black for now and i'm gonna hunt that carpet down till i can find it got some simple sides made they were actually pretty square so it wasn't too much to show 
simple cardboard cutouts. There's one, there's the other. Grandpa got us some chunks. So now we're back to gluing, nailing, letting this stuff sit overnight. All right, right when you are. Oh, that sounded like a double tapper. It sure was. <laughs> I didn't realize that didn't really matter until we started nailing the top. <laughs> right. But here. Uh -huh. I don't know. What's the matter? I was holding the damn thing with the oh, with caulking the on my oh. Here we are, we got a box. It's not looking too bad. We got everything glued. I'm still gonna glue all these seams. You know, we don't want any of the boom booms ex escaping. So glue all that, we'll let it sit overnight. Spray paint it black tomorrow. Let it sit for half the day and install that puppy. And eventually I'll put carpet on it that matches the carpet in there, I just gotta find it. But for now, it'll be functional, it'll look good. It'll kind of disappear at the black. Yeah, I dig it. I'm super happy with it. So let's caulk all these seams. Only took a minute or two, literally. I'm not even gonna put my finger in it. I'm just gonna leave it be. Because as long as it's touching both sides and you pressed enough pressure on there, you don't need to finger it. And what you can see, if you look hard enough, it's definitely sealing both sides pretty good. So I'm gonna run it. Let it dry overnight. It's a good looking little box though. For a quickie. Shoot, me and grandpa only really been at this a couple hours. Work time total because we had some hot dogs and hung out with Cody earlier. No, I couldn't help myself but slap them suckers in there real quick. Look how cool it looks. Dang. We might have to hand pinstripe this just for fun. Nah, what am I kidding? I would want carpet on here anyway. There's no point in covering that up. And I need to find the right paint. So if I gotta find the right paint, I'd rather find the carpet. Cause the carpet look way better. It's the next day. It's actually kinda late in the day, but here's our box, our glue. It's a little sticky, but you know, it's not leaving any gooey behind. So it's perfect. It looks great. So what we're gonna do, Hey slug, we got a box over here and some spray paint. We're just gonna have at it. We're spraying it. We got a slight little wind going on. So it's gonna be a little more difficult, but like I said, it's not gonna be perfect. I just want it to blend for now until I can find the carpet. And well, I said I had planned on painting this sucker red and making it all cool and bondoing it and smoothing it out, but as things evolved, I think carpet will be better. So let's just have some fun with some satin black. You know? I am gonna fog the backside first. Just, you know, for blending reasons. It's not going to be perfect back here. Flip it. Flip. Oh yeah. It's going to look all right. It's gonna be hard to get that green to fade out.
soon. I said to heck with it, just fog it. Fog it on there. I think it might work to our advantage. I'm just gonna wing the other side and see what happens, buddy. Grandpa's coming up with a great top plate out of this chunk of wood here. You know, it'll give our something, our box to squeeze through. We'll probably put another screw on the sides, you know, with the little sleeve to hold her up and stuff. Cause one screw is not enough to hold this heavy box with four speakers. I also did pick up this camper seal stuff so we could put it around the edge of the box and this other part around the floor here. Yeah, when we create a good seal, we don't let cold air or mice through little tiny holes. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you. I'll show you. All right, so I need a little piece. I should probably wipe that off first. Dirty rag for the wind. Eh, good enough. And just stick that sucker down. Stick it down, just like so. This is some good stuff. I like this stuff. Get in there. Get in your new home. Man, look at that box. We just took it out of the sun. It's, it's slightly tacky, all right? In both the way it looks and the way it feels. But honestly, I like it. It's good for who it's for. So we're gonna screw these suckers in, slap it in the car, and give it a test sound, man. We gotta see, are we gonna be shaking windows? <sighs> no, absolutely not. Just do we got a good sound? Most likely. Look at these suckers in the sun. Woo! Man, it looks good. Flip it over, all of our holes, man, they're pretty darn nicely cut, is what I'm saying. So now I gotta hang it. Put it in there. Put our little screws and stuff in there. Test it out, that's what I'm saying. A little progression's happening. A couple mishaps. Gosh darn, we got a couple holes. But we can weld them up later. We found our mounting spots. If you could see, there's one, there's two, there's three. We got our speaker wires. We still got to hook up. This one's different because it's supposed to be the right side, the rear right. This is going to be the rear left. The speaker wires actually for the front left and right were long enough, so I didn't even have to add any. It just made it a little more difficult to uh, install the box come in here my you see that box up in there it looks pretty good here you know we got some uglies like this foam will cut off and that looks ugly to me but filled the gaps where we needed it to and made the dash not so terrible the only thing i gotta do is test fit it put put my feet in there now this is gonna be the question on if I think I'm gonna enjoy it or not. Let's get you guys in here with me, sit down. You know, it's actually not too bad. I might 
might get it every now and then but you know we got good little grits on the speakers to not get us you know so I think what I'm saying is I think we're good yep I'm selling it you know like I said it's not the perfect thing but put some carpet on it that matches this carpet and that thing will just look perfect in here and it's gonna do a better job than the previous two and I didn't have to cut a crap ton of holes all I had to do was two little screw holes that I mishapped on I'm happy with it so I think I'm gonna take a warm snack get my mind in the right spot and then we'll come do some wiring turn it on test it out warm snack quickly over because i'm excited to try this out came out here already hooked up the wires i didn't melt the side to the stereo because i didn't like the crimpers that i had so i might have to come back and do that but let's uh, fire up see how it sounds all right i got the bug fired up we got the stereo on and i got some thunderstruck Oh man, she rock it out. She never been this loud. Holy cow! Woo wee! Oh man, we about to have some good tunes when we're cruising out in the bug now. I'm so excited. You guys don't even know. a win and a big one it's not the prettiest like I said but you know we used what we had what was laying around this little speaker box literally cost us nothing but a few hours of time well and a can of spray paint because I didn't have spray paint we go through that so fast we'll find some carpet one day for it I can get some tunes in it while I'm cruising. That's what I'm most excited about, you know, cause it's hard to go to a car show that's an hour away and you can't jam your tunes, man. It's not the prettiest in here, but I gotta clean some other stuff up. So fix some other stuff, we'll get there another day. The important part is tunes. Slug upgraded. It's got some kicker stereo. My. Let's lug the bug, man. So I for surely think the project for the video is complete for now. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a like, a big old comment. Subscribe to the channel, that'd be cool. Make you cool. Thank you for watching this one. Watch another one.